What's up guys, this Count Quiet here back again, and I found possibly the best YouTuber ever, Pink Space Jellyfish. Now who is Pink Space Jellyfish? Well, he's a YouTuber that posts mostly Fortnite content, but he does have a couple other videos. For example, he might become the next Tech Rex. Take a look. So my brother did not want to participate in this video. Don't don't make much fun of me over that participate. Participate, okay? Okay. Oh dear God. Okay. Okay. Guys, it's okay. We have our cringe helmet. But it's a cringe helmet. Let's continue. Okay, close call, guys. Some say this is the face you see when you die. Okay, so as you might have seen a title, I don't know if I'm gonna name it yet, but if you see a title, I am gonna destroy these earphones. Now, before you yell at me in the comments saying, "Sorry, those are good earphones. You should keep them." The only reason why I even have them is the box look cool on the earphone thing, and it came with these mic earbuds. That's all I, that's the mic and the earbuds what I wanted for my PS4. And so, that's all I wanted from it. Like. Okay, two things, right? Number one, why would you buy headphones for the box? Does that. And secondly, you do know that you can buy earphones and a microphone for much cheaper, right? Like, the headphones that he bought were apparently 10 to 15 dollars, as he states uh, later in the video. So why not just buy the earbuds and the microphone? Why? Let's get on to it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys see how he just needed his headphones? And then right after his face was like, Oh sh! I just hit dad's car! Oh my god. Yes! Right over there. Good to see him. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna be doing to these things is I am going to literally, literally destroy them. Guys, I think we actually found Leafy and Techrax's son. He has that literally. literally. He doesn't have a ch part, but you know he's getting there. And Techrax, the beautiful mother, is teaching him how to destroy headphones. Now, this first attempt is okay, but he really needs to add an iPhone, molten aluminum, and of course cockroaches. If you don't know what I'm referring to, now if you don't know, Tech actually made a video where he has cockroaches, live cockroaches, be burnt alongside with an iPhone 7 being burnt by molten aluminum, which might as well be molten lava. Lovely guy. Or I'll be back in right now. Seamless editing. Okay, so what I did is I pulled up my mining for diamonds and all the other ores. Now I didn't want to bring up his song uh, mining for diamonds and all the other ores just because I don't want to but he brought it into the video So I'm gonna use it as the end card music now I don't have a problem with minecraft the game if you want to play some minecraft if you fancy us to have a little bit of Mining diamonds then that's fine, but um, the fan base is kind of trash Like uh, like people that make songs for minecraft. I'm sorry like there are some pretty high production songs that are actually pretty good, but most of them are pretty bad. So you'll see the song at the end of the video. We'll keep watching to see it. And I'm up the stairs, okay, and I have it connected. You want to listen to the quality? Okay. Oh, let me turn it up. Hey, you're not allowed to hear this yet. Stop cheating. Okay. See how they survive. Now, one step test. Now, I get that it might be hypocritical for me to say this, but the quality of this video is not that good. 
Now, the pixely stuff is my program's fault, okay? I'm trying to fix it, okay? But the, the content in it, like, I'm not saying my content's better. It's probably extremely cringy to anyone who's not in my friend group. But I feel like it's at least a little bit smarter than just throwing my headphones around for 14 minutes. Five step test. I'm gonna have to throw it over there. Okay. Uh, very dirty. I don't think it hit the rocks that time, but I mean, very, very dirty. Which it might be because there's dirt. So basically, for the next way too long, he decides to keep throwing it off each step until he gets to step 10. At that point, he decides to manually smash the headphones on the ground. Yes, this is still going. I am sorry, but it's, I sped this up by 5, okay? I apologize for this. It's over, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is the no step. I'm going to slam this as hard as I can on that rock. Missed the rock, but so far it works. Looks like just a minor energy. Okay, never mind. That won't go back on. We're going to have to slam it as hard as we can now. Again on the set. On this rock. Okay. Let's go. How are they still working? Now that's a lot of damage. Now that's a good friend right there. Keep him. He just no, that's a lot of damage. Friend. He got right. Let's play horse shoot. No, no, no. We have to take this one step further. Come on. I also love how he's forcing his friend into this. Just like, hey, dude, let's just play. He's like, no, we need to take this one step further. Come on, help me. Come on, brother. One, two. Three, let me aim. Basically, he tries to destroy it with a hammer, but doesn't, and decides to bring it over to the river. And this is what he says. Don't do this at home! Oh, don't try this at home. One, two, three! Is it on or? Hold on, let me check my Kindle. Yes, it's on. Would you be surprised if I told you that there are two more minutes left in the video? Because I would, because this is where it should end, right? You destroyed it. See you guys next time, right? Well, let's see what else there is. Yeah. Break it. Okay, the cord's out by now. This is my proof that this is the next Tetrax. As you can see, it's already fully destroyed and it continues to slam it. That's how you break a pair of earbuds. No. Wanna know how to break a pair of earbuds? Hey! That's how you break your earphones! Okay! Don't do it at home! But I think I did it! At my home. See you next time, guys! Peace, peace, jellyfish! Oh! Ooh. I'm glad I was wearing my cringe helmet, because I would have died if, if I wasn't wearing it for that last section. So you think, oh, that's the end of the video, right? No, he continues to whack it over and over and over. I've never called this person a bad person, until now. Because we know that the number one sin on YouTube is clickbaiting. Now, at first you think, Mr. Pink Space Jellyfish has never clickbaited. But I found a video 
or he has clickbaited. As we all know, Ninja got clickbaited, and he has died from it. And people have been very insensitive about it, that Ninja himself had to ban them from his Twitch chat. Now, a lot of people are talking about his death. For example, PewDiePie made a video about Ninja getting lit. It was a very nice video. And Mr. Pink Space Jellyfish decided to as well. But this video was pure clickbait. Alright, my brother has told me to make a video, so I decided to edit one. These are just some random clips that me and my friends made during Fortnite. After 43 seconds of pure random Fortnite clips, he finally gets to the point of the video. Like, share, and subscribe! Right now! Ninja's death was serious, okay? You can't mess around like that. I am unsubscribing and unsharing. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. This was just something I did for fun. So, uh, Pink Space Jellyfish, if you are watching this video, it's all in good fun. I don't mean anything malicious. If anyone watching this video, for some reason, wants to go and try to hate on him, don't. He's just someone making videos like me. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, see you guys next time, maybe. Going to mine for diamonds. Mine, 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 four, four diamonds. Mine, 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 four, four diamonds.